Welcome to the March 2016 issue of What's Up in Paris magazine. This monthly magazine is dedicated to everything that you should experience, see, listen to and do in Paris. So stay with us and see a selection of key events for March 2016 in What's Up in Paris. Experience on Easter Sunday the 27th of March. Enjoy a day totally dedicated to chocolate on the Champ de Mars. With a huge hunt for 35,000 eggs organised by the Secours Populaire Federation. From 10am to 5pm, children aged 3 to 10, accompanied by their family, can buy a hunting licence an entry ticket and can choose to hunt or fish as they wish for the right combination of coloured eggs offered to them. For further information, go to spf75.org. Living Differently is the name of a show that's set to take place at the Parc Floral de Paris Bois de Vincent from Friday the 11th to Monday the 14th of March. The Living Differently show offers 430 inspired exhibitors, producers and designers who are concerned about nature and people and who encourage us to adopt an ecological attitude to every aspect of our daily lives. Organic food, wine and cosmetics and ready-to-wear clothing, home and garden books, tourism and the environment. For further information, salonvivreautrement.com a visit to the Carambolage exhibition at the Grand Palais will change your traditional approach to art. The exhibition contains 185 works by Boucher, Gia Comometti Rembrandt, Man Ray and many others from different eras, styles and countries, presented in an order designed like a set of dominoes in which each one leads to the next through an association of ideas or forums. Bookings grandpalais.fr in March, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day, a great opportunity to see the Irish Celtic generations at the Palais de Sport, Port de Versailles, Paris, from the 11th to the 13th of March. 30 Irish dancers put on a show that combines the energy of the country's top male dancers, the magical lightness of movement of the female dancers, and the unbelievable power of the musicians bringing tradition to life on stage. In short, a unique night out that takes you to the heart of Ireland and a true celebration of St. Patrick's Day. To book your tickets, FNAAC Ticketmaster. If you enjoyed Gerard Cabot's full-length film, don't miss Hommage au Castret, Air Per Fanelli, at the Church of St. Julien Le Poivre in Paris on Monday the 28th of March, with Nujujen Du Tong, counter tenor, and Laurent Colbert, piano. The programme includes salon opera from Baroque to Romanticism, works by Vivaldi, Handel, Gluck, Tosti, to book theatreonline.com. Until 27th of March, relive the 20s with the musical Kiki de Montparnasse at the Lucenaire, directed by Jean-Jacques Benou and starring Eloise Wagner, a model during a revolution that imposes new criteria on art and the world. The impudent, free-spirited Kiki poses naked for the painters Fujita, Modigliani, Soutine, etc. She sings, paints, dances and brings life to outrageous parties. Man Ray takes her as his muse and she takes him as her lover. To book lucenaire.fr Why not treat yourself to a tattoo in March? How? Go to the Mondial du Tatouage at the Grand Halle de la Villette on the 4th, 5th and 6th of March. This legendary convention is one of the most prestigious in the world with around 32,000 visitors from France and all over the world in 2015. The programme includes some of the great artist tattoos, exhibitions, concerts, DJ sets, seminars, professional equipment and the best food trucks in France for when you're hungry. For further information, mondialtoutayage.com and as the days get warmer, why not take a walk around saint Juan Flea Market? It's recognised as one of the world's biggest antique and second-hand goods markets. With 5 million visitors a year from all over the world, it's divided into 14 villages on 7 hectares of land and you're bound to find the object or item of clothing that you were looking for or something you have never expected to find. And if you're there at lunchtime, go and eat at the Cher de Louisette, a veritable institution since 1930. Have a great March everyone and we'll be back on the 1st of April.